Oh, there is no hope of heaven without Jesus Christ. If we die without Jesus Christ in our sin, we will go to hell for eternity. But God sent Jesus Christ that we may be saved. God sent Jesus Christ to die for our sins upon a cross that we may be saved. Jesus Christ is the way to heaven. Jesus Christ said, I am the way, the truth and the life. No man comes to God but by me. Jesus Christ said, unless a man is born again, he will not see the kingdom of God. We must be born again. We must be born from heaven. The only way to be born again is to come to Jesus Christ, to turn from our sin, to believe in Jesus, and Jesus Christ will send the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit will make us born again. He will change our lives. Oh, we must choose today whom we are going to serve. Are we going to serve Jesus Christ on the way to eternal life? Or are we going to serve the devil on the way to hell? Oh, we cannot serve two masters. Oh, if you are not serving Jesus Christ, you are serving the devil in darkness. Jesus is calling you today to come to him, to turn from your sin, to believe in him and he can save your soul. Oh, your souls are eternal people. This world is temporary. Your pleasures are temporary. Your possessions are temporary. The things you are selling are temporary. Your money is temporary. But when your body goes to the grave, your eternal soul will leave your body and you will give an account to God Almighty. And you have to give an account of the time that he has given you. God has lent you this time Oh, to serve Him and to glorify Him. But you choose your own way. You are like sheep going astray. But Jesus Christ, the shepherd of our soul, is calling you back today. Oh, people, let the wicked turn from his way. Let the unrighteous man forsake his faults. Let him return to the Lord, and the Lord will have mercy. And to our God, and our God will abundantly pardon. Jesus Christ, it's the offer of salvation. There is no way to heaven but through Jesus Christ and what he did on the cross. We must believe in him. We must all follow his ways. All people going to church, going to deeds, will not save us. No good deed can save us. No good work can save us. Only Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, can save our soul. Or oh, you may think that you don't need saving. You may think that you haven't sinned. But when we look to God's commandments, we can see that we have sinned. We have lied. We have stolen. We have used God's name in vain. When you look on the media, when you look on the news, God's name is blasphemed. Homosexuality is promoted. Adultery is promoted. Sin is promoted everywhere because the devil is a god of this world. But Jesus Christ is calling us out of sin. Jesus Christ is calling us out from this world to be separate, to not follow this world into hellfire. Oh, people, Jesus is calling you and me to everybody to walk with him to eternal life. God has prepared a place in heaven. God has prepared a place. God has prepared mansions. Heaven is a place full of gold, cities of gold, joy, peace, love. There is no more death in heaven. There is no more suffering in heaven. Oh, people, in this world there is turmoil, trouble, suffering. This world there is no hope. This world is getting worse and worse and worse. Very soon, the Antichrist system is coming. The one world government is coming. The Great Reset is coming. When the government are going to cause all people to believe that it needs to be reset and the government are going to push a one world government system, a one world religion. In Saudi Arabia, they have already built three, three churches, one church, Christian church, one mosque and one synagogue to say that we serve the same God. But it's a lie. Only one true and living God. Muslims and Buddha and everybody do not serve the same God. There are idols. Only one true living God, the God of Jesus Christ. 
Oh, soon there is coming the mark of the beast when we have to buy, when we have to take a mark to be able to buy or sell. There is coming a time when there's going to be no more cash, a cashless society, when you have to take a mark to buy or sell. Oh, but the mark of the beast is uh, the way to hell is you have sold your sa sold to Satan. God will provide. God will supply all of your needs if you come to Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus Christ will give you all you need if you come to him. Salvation, peace, hope, the future. There's no hope in this world. This world is a world of death and corruption. Oh, people, this world is going to get worse and worse. There is coming tribulation. There is coming more distress, more plagues, more famines coming upon this earth. You cannot stand what's coming upon this earth very soon. There is coming a time when people will have heart attack for what's coming upon this earth. There's going to be so many things happening. We need Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the way out. Oh, very soon Jesus Christ is coming back. There's going to be a rapture, a taking up of the church. Thousands of people are going to disappear very soon. Jesus is going to take them away. Oh, and the people that are left behind, the people that reject the gospel, the people that reject Jesus Christ are going to be left behind. And Jesus Christ will pour out his wrath upon the world. Everybody that's left behind will experience the wrath of God Almighty. Oh, we cannot endure the wrath of a king. Oh, we couldn't endure the wrath of God. But Jesus saves us from the wrath to come. Jesus Christ is the ark. Oh, we must climb unto the ark to be safe on the wrath. In the days of Noah, in the days of the flood, Noah was preaching for 120 years. People called Noah crazy. People told Noah to be quiet. People said, Noah, you're crazy. There's not going to be a flood. Noah built the ark being, a, being obedient to God. And the people laughed at him and scoffed at him. Oh, but when the flood came and they was all washed away, it was too late. And Jesus said when he returns, it's going to be like the days of Noah. People drinking, living in, giving in marriage, doing their own thing, living in pleasure, saying Jesus is not coming, telling the priests to shut up. Oh, but when Jesus comes and takes away his church, you are going to see that it's real. But the government are going to say to you, that's an alien invasion. Oh, if you look on the government, you look on the media, you look on the news, they're talking about UFOs and aliens. Aliens are not real. UFOs are not real. They are demons. They are principalities and powers in the heavenlies. But when Jesus takes away his people, oh, the government are going to tell you it's an alien invasion. Oh, but don't believe the government. Don't believe the world. Oh, believe Jesus Christ, the word of the living God. This nation was built upon the word of God. Oh, but this nation has come away from the living God. But Jesus is calling you back today to him. Jesus is calling you back today to God. Jesus is the reconciler. Oh, from man to God, Jesus can reconcile us again as God to be our father. We have been separated from God through our sin. Our rebellion towards God has called this world to be this way. Oh, this world, it's because of sin there are sicknesses. It's because of sin there are plagues. It's because of sin there is death. It's because of sin there are hospitals. It's because of sin there is crime. Oh, people, it's because we have broken God's commandments that this world is messed up. Jesus is calling us out of sin, out from this world, back to God as our Father. You can have a relationship with God Almighty through Jesus Christ. Oh, people, do not believe the lies. Jesus Christ loves you and he cares for your soul. Jesus Christ can give you peace. Jesus Christ can give you hope. Jesus Christ can give you a future. Oh, he can give you eternal life in heaven. One day you will leave this earth and you will have to spend eternity with God, or the, with God in heaven or the devil in hell. You must choose. Choose Jesus Christ today. Choose salvation today. Choose eternal life today.
Today, blessing and cursing has been set before you. Life has, and death has been set before you. Choose life, that your seed, and you may live. Choose Jesus Christ, that you may live with him eternally in heaven.